Hi, this is Stephen Chin for nighthacking.com, and we're here at the J Fall Conference doing interviews today. Um, just had a great interview with Garrett Grumwald and also Case John Koster. And now I'm here with Saskia Vermeer Ums, and we're going to chat about the DevOps for Kids events um, that just happened a week ago. Hi, thanks for having me. So before we get started with the, the interview, I wanted to play a quick video clip about the conference. Um, we're here in the Netherlands at the um, j Paul event put on by the Netherlands um, Java user group. And I, I'm always surprised what a big event this is. There's so many people who come out here for the event. But I'm enjoying myself. Cool. All right, there. Now I put our, our video overlay on so they can see us talking over the video clip. Yeah, they also do like really nice video production. Although the video looks a lot like the one from last year. <laughs> okay, that's enough video. Dead. Okay, so um. I had a lot of fun at the DevOps for Kids event last week. It was just one week ago, right? It seems like it was... It was the 26th of October, so one and a half weeks ago. Yeah, I'm still recovering from it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was impressed. We did a similar but slightly less, or less organized event for the Silicon Valley um, code camp to do a kids event. And we had nowhere near the level of organization and polish which you guys did for the event. It looked like you had been your tenth or twentieth DevOps for Kids event. So what's your what's your what's your secret to actually running a good event? Yeah, well, actually, it was Jay Duchess running in the event, so that's only women running. <laughs> 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 Don't want to be sexist, but we're just good at it. Okay. Do you um do you accept hiring? We'll we'll hire you for our next yeah. Silicon Valley event. Sure, I'll come <laughs> if you if you organize it. I'll come. Okay. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Um, so I also have some videos from the from the event that we can we can talk through. I believe this is the opening keynote. Yeah. So we um, we got someone from uh, the company Forty Two to do the keynote, and he did some live uh, coding, which um, I'm not sure every kid got what he was doing, but in the end, he got the asteroids to run, and he could shoot them down, and so that was fun. So it was in um, Dutch, and I. Yeah couldn't follow nearly as well as all the kids in the room but my impression was that they were having a lot of, like you can see they're, they're having a lot of yeah, fun yeah. so he was definitely good with the kids yeah no um, they were they had his his full attention so yeah that was that was great and uh, there are a lot of parents still there I, I rather not have them there the whole time but <laughs> Um, when he was finished, we uh, made it clear that the parents shouldn't be staying all day, so they left. All right, good. Yeah, kick out those, um, you know, parents. So most of the other video clips I have are of the um, Raspberry Pi workshop, which um, I ran while I was there. You know, coincidentally, the video gear was with me, <laughs> so it, <laughs> it's mostly kids playing in my workshop. But just to give background, the way the um, event was organized, there was believe three three time slots and then three groups of kids who um, migrated three kids groups of about 20 kids that migrated between the different workshops so all the kids got to try all the different activities um, but then had individual attention since they were pretty small groups yeah so um, we set it up for 60 kids maximum and actually 57 turned up and we split them into three groups of 20 and the only, uh, of course, we had three workshops planned. So it was Scratch, um, Minecraft, modding, and Lego Mindstorms. And then in the end, you also uh, agreed to come for your Raspberry Pi workshop. So what we did is we split up the group who um, was doing the Scratch workshop into the older kids and the younger kids because, of course, it was in English, your workshop. So they should really understand the English. And I think it worked out fine with the uh, small yeah, no, I, I was surprised that we had we had pretty good results. Um, I think every single group in my workshop modified the game and wrote little Java code and compiled it and, and got it running. 
So it was nice to see that um, even given they only had half the time, which um, they had when I did the workshop the previous time, but because the groups were small yeah. and there were so many, you know, helpers to, you know, encourage the kids, then they were able to make quite a lot of progress and not a lot of time. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, and also uh, what I liked is that at the end you asked uh, each group to tell them what they modified and, and they all, yeah, they sounded really enthusiastic of what they actually accomplished in that one and a half hour. Cool. So um, what other... Well, for the viewers on the stream, can you describe some of the other workshops which are running at the same time? Yeah, yeah so, um, well, parallel to this was the, the Scratch workshop, where um, Scratch is a visual programming language where you can easily um, click and, and have a sprite, which is the object you're, you're trying to modify, it can do what you, whatever you want. And then there was the Minecraft modding workshop, where they um, had an old, whole Eclipse set up with... Uh, the Minecraft uh, classes, which are actually written in Java, so they could um, start Minecraft from the Eclipse and actually uh, modify code in, within the Minecraft and uh, restart it again and see what the result was. And the last one was um, the Lego Mindstorms, where um, I had asked uh, the author of a book who, for the NXT2 Mindstorm, who did a lot of um, nice uh, um, assignments for it. He, he actually took it on, upon himself to do this workshop and uh, yeah, kids had a lot of fun um, doing all the assignments for the Lego Mindstorms. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have a video of this, but one of the things which um, we also did in my workshop is we had a little fun with the Lego Mindstorms EV3 and I think it was a nice way to warm up the kids to, you know, yeah. running Java on, on stuff other than a real computer. Yeah, um, I'm afraid the nose w was broken every time they tried it though, because <laughs> it fell. <laughs> yeah, Tony and I fixed that. He, um, Duke's nose has been glued. <laughs> it, will never, it will never break again, at least in that spot. So, but you were telling me about the, the Duke and the Duchess. What about the Duchess and the bow? All right, so it's a surprise. <laughs> but coming up for um, the DevOps conference, um, so Angela Caicedo mm -hmm. is going to be coming out to speak. And um, her and I, so the original Duke that I used at Java 1 got stolen um, out of her car, actually. And it's, it's, I feel bad for her car because it got broken into. Um, but I think the robber didn't actually want to steal Duke. They just wanted to steal a bag, which looked like it was a laptop. Uh, yeah. And they got a surprise. <laughs> they got a Duke. <laughs> but it was a good excuse to rebuild it. So um, Angela and I both rebuilt Lego Dukes from the ground up. And um, her version, like you mentioned, has a little, yeah. okay. a little bow on it. So that should, be, that should be pretty cool. And it's going to debut at DevOx. Um, I, I, prepped her with an SD card and I've been chatting with her about getting it set up. So um, are you going to be at the DevOps event yes. next week? Okay, so you'll see the... <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm going to carry your stuff, remember? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's been sitting in my hallway all week. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so the lab kits I used at the DevOps for Kids Netherlands event are going to appear in, 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 um, in your car, yeah. appear in, in Belgium, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, they'll wait. they'll be there. <laughs> cool. So, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about more about kind of your thoughts on the best way to teach kids programming, maybe for parents or folks who want to run similar workshops. And this is also a good cue for um, our um, audience here in person and also folks on the stream to ask questions. Yeah, so, um, well, actually, after this interview, I will be giving uh, a, the JFall session with Kim, who's sitting there. So we're going to go through um, how to get your kids uh, with what tools and what sort of events you can get started on, and hoping to inspire more people to, to start uh, activities like this. And, well, the main thing is that um, you should start with something simple where kids 
can actually really uh, grasp that they have influence of what what is happening to on the computer and just by well scratches is, is a good good starting point where you can just uh, easily drag stuff uh, onto your script and and run it and see that it's actually doing what you thought it was going to be doing so instant gratification is the key word for for getting kids started yeah so kids like what we want they just they're not going to put up with the boring parts. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they just want to move fast. And yeah, well, well, I have three kids, and what I see is that they're mostly consuming uh, computers and iPads and iPods, and they're not creating anything by themselves. And yeah, starting with, with these small programs, they can see, well, I can actually have the ability to do something yeah. with the computer. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then for folks who don't know, um, Scratch comes pre-installed on Raspberry Pis. It does? Yeah. So you just start X Windows on a Raspberry Pi and you're, you're scratching on a cute little embedded platform. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> All right. So um, any questions? Yeah? Comments? I, I gave you guys a little warning, right? A little... <laughs> All right, we have a we have a very shy. They're, they're probably waiting for your talk probably. coming up in a in a few minutes. They're, they're going to ask all the hard questions there. <laughs> probably, yeah. Well, they heard it already. So. <laughs> yeah. So Kim is giving the talk with me this time, not Regina. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, thanks very much for coming on with me on the night hacking stream. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And I uh, look forward to well. Good luck with your talk. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you at the DevOps conference upcoming as well. All right. See you there then. So um, if you want to see more videos, go to nighthacking.com. And to give an outro, since we're at the um, JFall <laughs> conference in the Netherlands, it's, it's been a long day. This has been a long day. Um, I have a little video from the NL Jug, which, which runs the event here, to you. Um, close out the stream. <laughs>